So today in this video, I wanna share a little bit more with you about LinkedIn and go just a little bit deeper. So this is gonna be part two. We're gonna have a fun time. I'm gonna share in depth of all the great features that LinkedIn has and some of the things that you may be missing if you don't have a premium account. So I'm not affiliated with LinkedIn in any way. They're not paying me for this endorsement, but I wanna share some things that'll help you with lead generation, that'll blow your socks off and help you really propel your business in 2020. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so my name is Adrian Boysell and this is the Adrian Graphics and Marketing channel. Make sure that if you're watching this video and you're hanging with me today, that you hit the like and subscribe button, hit a thumbs up, and make sure you hit that bell so you can get notified for all my notifications and all my videos that I post, because I post a ton of great stuff on marketing and sales and all kinds of really great business to business stuff. So if you wanna grow your business, this is a great channel to do that. I'm constantly adding videos every single week on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and I just have some important knowledge that I wanna share with you guys today. So. LinkedIn. LinkedIn is a powerful lead generation tool. It's something that I've been using for a few years now. And over the last six months, I've implemented an automated software that has helped me explode my LinkedIn and literally go from about 1200 connections to almost 3000. And it's made a dramatic impact on my profile views and a lot of great things. So I want to dive in here with you today and kind of show you LinkedIn on a deeper level. So you can kind of understand some of the tools and features that you may not have access to now and what you need to be able to, what you need to be able to do that. So without further ado, let's roll into it. All right, so this is my profile here on LinkedIn. If you're looking at it after you log in, shows you your news posts, the pages that I manage, some news articles. This is kind of your main area. If you, if you have a premium account, you'll see some information like this. I don't think it'll show you this if you don't have a premium account, but we're gonna talk about that later in the video. I'm gonna share some things that'll really help you guys out. You need a premium account. And there are five specific reasons that I'm gonna share with you today that are gonna help you explode your LinkedIn page, okay? The first one and something that I've been finding very helpful is LinkedIn Learning. Now, when you get a premium account, you get access to courses and all kinds of great stuff. And let me just show you this here. So you can see here, if you look down, learn something new today. I can click this and I can actually see LinkedIn Learning. You can log in and you can pick things that you wanna do, business, creative, or technology. These are big areas that you can focus on, that you can learn more, and they have show me all. So you actually have more categories. You can see that this is all categories of areas that you can learn and grow your skill sets and your expertise and your knowledge in your specific area of interest. This is really, really cool, okay? The second thing I wanna show you is, with the premium account, you can actually see how much traffic you're getting. You see it slowed down for me there for a little while, but it's been picking back up again recently because I've been re-engaging my audience with the automated tool. So this allows you to see with premium how many people are viewing your profile and who these people actually are. I don't wanna give their too much of their information up, but I can show you, it can go back further and further as I keep continuing to back. You can see all the people that are viewing your profile. These are not things that you can do with a basic free account, okay? So you're gonna be limited in that as well. Okay, the, th the third thing that it allows you to do is have a larger network. Having a larger network on LinkedIn is important because it allows you to see more people, third level connections, second level connections. It's a really good feature that you have to have if you're gonna be using LinkedIn for lead generation. Okay, now number four, and this is a big one, is in-mail. If you are not connected to somebody but you wanna be connected, let's just use Gary V for example, right? He's a big well-known celebrity or my buddy Andre G. Because we don't have any mutual connections or a third level connection, if I wanted to send him a message, I would have to use in-mail. Well, if you have a free account, there is no in-mail option for you. You don't get any of those credits. You can't send that person a message. But if you have a premium account, even just a basic premium account, because there's two levels, and we'll talk about that in here in a few minutes, if you have a basic premium account, it allows you to send messages up to 45 per month. And if you look at my screen here, you can see, where is this at? You can see with the LinkedIn premium, if I go back, let me just go back a page. Oops, let me do this here. There we go. And you can see here with a premium account, I can send 15 emails, I'm sorry, per month. So this is the premium business. You can send 15 emails a month or messages to somebody with the in-mail feature, okay? On top of that, you can see your profile views. Like I mentioned, that's number six or number five. Number six is you can actually get the profile badge. 
the profile badge is a little gold badge that's in the corner of your profile that allows you to actually look like you're more prominent and, and it just grabs more attention when you have that badge. And then you can also, it opens you up to be able to send messages to people who, who don't have a premium account and it allows you to have a little message icon there so you can actually send them a message. And that's the beautiful part of having a premium account. And then the last thing, and this is a big one, uh, as far as the features of premium, is that being able to have the sales navigator. Sales Navigator is a really great tool for lead generation. It allows you to see job insights and unlimited business browsing. You can do that with your premium account, but it takes it to a whole nother level and it's only an extra $20 a month. So I believe that I have the basic premium feature. Uh, I don't have a free account, but I have a premium account and it's about $59 a month. And for another $20, so $79 a month, you can add the Sales Navigator feature, which is really great for prospecting, finding, I think you could probably do unlimited messages, but there's just some really great features to having that top level account. And if you really do the math, and it's something that I should go back to, because I did have it at one time, I just wasn't really fully using it, is with the Sales Navigator, is it's gonna allow you to reach more prospects and get more targeted, okay? Now, what you guys have all been waiting for, some of those features in your account that you may not have access to with your free account, but you probably, or I know you will, with your paid account. So if you go in here, and you, let me show you a little trick. It's a couple of things I wanted to show you, is if you go into search, you can actually come up in here and you can type in people, okay? Now when you go to people, this is gonna allow you to see uh, some basic connections, right? Some basic filters, like first level connections, second level, so let's just hit first and second, and I think when you add sales navigator, you get to go to third. You can go locations, so I can go here to Sacramento, um, I can go United States, San Francisco, New York, Los Angeles, United Kingdom. But for this example, I'm just going to use Sacramento, California. Okay, We're going to select that. And then I can also go current company. So I can actually target somebody by the company they work for. Right? It's a good example. But if you hit all filters, this opens you up to a whole new category. And this right here is super cool. So you can have connections of a specific person. So I could say uh, connections of my buddy Timothy Morgan. Look at that, I can put him in there, people that are, he's connected to already, or instead of that, I can go back here and put the Sacramento in again. Whoops, Sacramento, there we go. Then I can go into industry, so let's just say I wanna go into environmental, sir. whoops, environmental. There we go, environmental or renewables and environmental, okay. Then I can pick a specific company if I wanted to, let's just say I wanna go with waste management. There we go, okay. And then you can even pick a job title, which is a really awesome tool. So if I can say marketing, I can just put the word marketing in there. If they have that in their in their title that they do marketing at all, or business development, let me do this business development, which is a really good one for me. Development, there we go. I can put that in there. Now all I have to do is I come up here and I hit search. Oops. Did I do it? Right, let me see here. Clear. Apply. There we go. Sorry. I hit apply. Now that I've hit applied. There's no one in Sacramento <laughs> that has that. So let me change this a little bit. Let's go to the United States because they're not probably not in Sacramento. And let's hit apply here. Okay, this will be a good one. Oh, where is it at? There we go. Renewables. Let's just change this and we'll go apply. Okay, awesome. Now, there we go. So you, you can play around with it and you can get the right, the right stuff. But here you go, Cal Waste Recovery System Sales and Business Development, Natalie Clark. And you can see here, there are 13 results for people that they're in the United States that are connected first level and second level. So people I'm already connected with. And then also people that are at current companies like waste management, I believe. Let's see here. If I put this back in here, waste, there we go. Waste management. If I hit apply again, again, it's not going to show me any results. So I want to take that out of there and show all filters, take out waste management. I can go back again, put in the job title, business development, and then I can go into industry. Where was that industry at? So current companies, right? Current companies, oh, and past companies, there we go. And then we got business development, and then there was an industry in here before, but for some reason now, it's disappeared, but that's okay. All right, and it's not showing me any connections for that. So I'm gonna have to fix that, um, or I can just remove the waste management and just show business development people, okay? And then what I did before is I had the filters where it was showing me the industry. So here we go, environmental services, uh, let's try another one. I can do multiple. Environ, there we go. Environmental and renewables. Okay. Then I hit apply. There we go. So I got five results. So people that are in their environmental space, here are five results. Now what I can do with my LinkedIn tool, I can copy this URL. I can paste this into my automation and I can send connection requests 
automatically with the connection message and everything and put them to a string of sequences without having to do any hard work and having to do it manually one at a time. Now I know this is a really small example. Typically when I run this, it doesn't have this big of an, uh, an example. So I will do something like this. I'll go with um, usually something more along the lines of legal, like uh, attorney, or actually I can say law, law practice. There we go. Hit apply. Nope, nothing for law practice. Let's go legal, legal service. There we go. Hit apply. I still have waste management. That's what's going on there. Take that off. Perfect. Now I have 200 plus results. Again, I can copy this. This is in the United States, so I would want to narrow this down. I want to go to Sacramento and hit apply. And you'll see here, bam, I got 17 results. I can copy this, paste this into my tool, and it'll give me really great access. This is an awesome feature of being able to search within and create your targeted audience for your business, for your marketing business, your graphic design business, your web design business, to find the right candidates in the right industry that have the right job title. This is such a cool thing. Okay, that's that's my first big tip, is knowing how to utilize the, the people section and the search section a little bit better so you can really get the, use it to its fullest extent, okay? Then the second thing I wanted to talk to you about is engaging with your audience. So if you go back to the, my message here, this is a perfect example. So this guy put, put up a post, and if you want LinkedIn to start showing more of your posts that you put up, then you need to start showing up and putting more comments and likes and, and feedback on other people's posts. So I can go in here and love and I say, wow, needed to hear this today. There we go. Thanks for sharing, right? And just lifting people up, encouraging, encouraging other people. There we go. And it even gave me a little autocorrect and then I hit post. And the more you do that, more engaged you become on other people's stuff, LinkedIn's gonna notice that. They see that you're an active user, you're spending time there, you're engaging with other people's stuff and they're gonna reward you and they're gonna start showing more of your stuff, okay? And then number three, and this was the big one, was the premium stuff that I shared with you. The in-mail, the LinkedIn learning, the larger network, the unlimited browsing, uh, the, the profile badge and being able to open and see more people and be able to send them messages, the sales navigator if you end up doing the little $20 bonus deal, and then being able to see people that have viewed your profile, job insights, there's all kinds of really good industry data that you can pull from having a LinkedIn profile. So those are the three things that I wanted to share and they're kind of broad topics in terms of LinkedIn when it comes to all the features and functionalities, but it's really important that you get the opportunity to be able to use LinkedIn to its fullest extent, to its fullest capabilities, to be able to leverage it, to be able to build a huge network and a huge tribe of people. And I could do a whole nother one, which I probably will do on just LinkedIn groups and how you can leverage LinkedIn groups because this is something that I'm moving into as well. So I hope this video helped you guys out. I know it will, will provide some nuggets for some of you guys. If you don't have a LinkedIn premium account, I would encourage you to go get one. It'll really be a huge help for you in your business. And I wanna help you guys grow. So that's it for today. I hope you guys have a blessed day. Stay safe out there. This coronavirus stuff is crazy. It's affecting my business. I'm sure it's affecting your business, but just hunker down. Remember what's most important, our families and God, and just keep moving forward. Don't let this stop you. Use this as an opportunity to have a breakthrough in your business, to write your book or to do whatever you can do to continue to move the ball forward while you're hunkered in your home and, and you're in the uh, quarantine, as they say. So I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you so much for watching and make sure you hit the like and subscribe button so I can keep making great videos for you. Love you guys. Have a blessed day. And as always, keep looking out.